Hi, friends. Welcome back again to our journey through the unvarnished Jesus. Today, we are on day number 30, and we are at Station of the Cross number six. Our passage of scripture comes out of the short gospel of Mark, chapter 15, beginning in verse 15 and going through verse 20. Let me read it for us, and then we'll think about it for a couple of moments. It says here, Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led Jesus away into the palace, that is, the praetorium, and called together the whole company of soldiers. They put a purple robe on him, then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. And they began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! Again and again they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. And then they let him out to be crucified. So Jesus is making his way to Jerusalem, as he had told his disciples many times before. His mission is to establish the kingdom of God. Now, the disciples had anticipated Jesus setting up his kingdom throughout his ministry. But what they did not expect was that the king would be crucified. What they did not expect is the way he would rule. You know, on Palm Sunday, which we will celebrate in a couple of weeks, the pilgrims pressed the issue when they said, Blessed is the king who comes, Hosanna, save us. And implied in that is, now, save us now. Fast forward to this sixth station of the cross. After Jesus was condemned to death, the Roman soldiers staged a mock coronation. He was flawed. He was given a crown of thorns. He was given a purple robe. He was given pseudo praise. The irony here is what is mocked actually becomes a metamorphosis. The kingdom of God entered into the cruel hatred of humanity and changed the narrative. The world is changed, not through dominance, not through weaponry, and not through war. The world is changed through co-suffering love. Co-suffering love and forgiveness and grace is the way God rules his kingdom through Christ. Would you pray with me, please? Lord Jesus, in faith we crown you a king of a better kingdom. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Have a good day.